delegates and delegates i feel privileged to welcome you all. i feel privileged to welcome you all on today's international conference as today is the second day we are processing on management and humanities it is an occasion like this we get the opportunities to test our knowledge and understanding we feel so honored that we have as chairperson with us dr sharda kangwar professor and hod of business administration and management institute of excellence in higher education gopal as a co-person co-chairperson we have with us dr gk deshmukh he is having 19 years of academic experience with a specialization in marketing and general management with specific inclination towards consumer behavior so with the permission of the chair i would like to start the today's event moving forward i would like to call ms nidhi dr nidhi koenka assistant professor maharaja agnesin international college raipur to present her topic on study on current and potential views on content marketing for brand in raipur city nidhi ma'am you can start due to some reason i think she is not connected with us so i'll move forward i will call preksha mahadev who is a research scholar kalyan pg college right kitna rahega alag alag nahi na rahega ek minute na हम तो उसमें कुछ भी नहीं किए जो किसी के सामने हमको दिख रहा है उसके पहले हम फूल डाले थे वही था काइंडली आर यू काइंडली व्यू मनीषा प्रसाद काइंडली व्यू I would call Parikhit Ghosh, research scholar, PhD, School of Entrepreneurship and Management, Assam, to present his topic on to measure the financial efficiency of select cooperative banks and commercial banks. <clears throat> Ma'am, can I uh, share my screen? Yes, you can. Ma'am, it here. Tell him to get. Your time duration will be five minutes. Can you start for? Ma'am, it is disabled. Share your screen, sir, or start speaking. So it, uh, ma'am, it is disabled. Those disabled participants can share. Disabled, sir. Enable, sir. Now you can share your screen. Ma'am, I can't share. Both disabled part participants can share. Participant coach, you can do. Yes, now you can share. But it can go start. Uh. without wasting time we shall move forward i would like to call parul badaria 
PhD scholar Sri Shankaran Chahara Prakash University Dubai. She will be speaking on impact of e-commerce and e-commerce during pandemic year COVID-19. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Prati Kosh, you can start the Egypt Kosh. Ma'am, is it visible? Yes, it is visible. Uh, <coughs> thank you, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Parikshit Ghosh. I am a research scholar from uh, Assam Rajiv Gandhi University of Kopu. for organizing the internship conference and providing me an opportunity for presenting my paper at this uh, SciCon 2023 international conference. Uh, I'm also blessed to have my uh, co-guide, uh, uh, my guide and my co-author of this paper, Dr. Mizuspita Das, uh, Dean in Charge of School of Entrepreneurship and Management in this presentation. So to start with, uh, the topic of my presentation is to measure the financial efficiency of select cooperative banks and commercial banks. <laughs> the, uh, to start with, this study tries to fill the hole in the estimation of financial effectiveness of select cooperative banks and commercial banks for the period 2011-12 to 2021. The literature review features the lack of work 
on productivity estimation of cooperative banks in comparison to commercial banks in Assam. Uh, estimated re uh, results show that three banks are relatively efficient when their efficiency is measured in terms of constant return to uh, scale and five banks are relatively efficient when measured in terms of variable returns to scale. The study highlights the importance of improving management of deposit, number of employees, loan advances, and uh, investment operations for achieving efficiency in resource utilization. And policymakers uh, can use the results to design <laughs> uh, design policies that promote efficiency in the in the sector, while managers can use the insights to improve their operations and management practices. Uh, so the design of this research uh, 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 and the research method, the main idea is to employ uh, data development analysis and stochastic pointer analysis uh, to measure the efficiency of select cooperative banks and commercial banks. Uh, we'll get two models for both the frontier methods. Model A examines the efficiency in core banking activity and model B for the off balance sheet activity. Uh, thirdly, to analyze the most efficient banks, uh, the quartal analysis would provide an insight into the distribution efficiency for both uh, for both the model A and B. Tobit model uh, will also be estimated to identify the determinant of efficiency. Now the empirical evidence. Data has been obtained. <laughs> from financial reports of cooperative banks, commercial banks, websites, and financial reports published by Reserve Bank. The total income of a bank comprises of net interest income and non-net interest income. Uh, this paper considers two separate models. Uh, output variable, net interest income for model A and non-interest uh, income for model B. Model A, A has a single output variable. Net interest income has three input variables. Three input variables. <clears throat> uh, <coughs> model B concerns the non-interest uh, income that accrues to a bank from a balance sheet activity. Nine cooperative banks and two commercial banks on private sector and commercial banks uh, were considered for efficiency estimation. Now, the description of variables to be used in the empirical analysis, output variable. Output variable. Here, Net interest income, uh, which are considered of uh, interest income, uh, interest earned, interest uh, paid uh, refers to the income earned from traditional core banking activities such as accepting deposits, lending, and investment in government and other securities. Interest paid by banks on deposits and interest paid on borrowing from RBI and other agents. Non interest income include income from off balance sheet uh, activities like fees, commissions, etc. Input uh, variables that are considered as price of physical capital or wages, uh, the rent, taxes, lighting, printing, stationery, etc. And price of labor payments to uh, promote and provision for employees. And price of loanable funds, in, uh, in uh, the description includes interest paid on deposits and borrowing from Reserve Bank of India and other agencies. So the de uh, descriptive statistics of variable are here. Here we have considered only 10% of the uh, their, uh, the uh, the 10% of the uh, these uh, st uh, variables that is net interest income, non net interest income, and we have calculated the mean, uh, mean uh, and standard division, etc. The results of uh, before going into the uh, uh, results, uh, there are some uh, uh, there are some advantages of using uh, DEA and SFA. But uh, due to time constraint, uh, time constant, I will not be going through all this. So the results are uh, of the stochastic frontier analysis, as you can see here. The, Elaboration of these results are here. 
the variable considered in uh, stochastic Fourier model are similar to output and input variable considered for DA. The dependent variable in model A is log of net interest income, while expenditure incurred incurred on fixed assets, salary, and other payments and interest paid are explanatory variables. It can be observed that interest paid by a bank has statistically significant impact at 1% level of significance on the net interest income earned by bank. The relationship between the expenditure incurred on fixed assets, such as rent, etc., although positive, is not statistically significant, while a negative but not a significant relationship is seen between the expenditure incurred on labor and the net interest income of a bank. The lambda parameter is 0 0.6, statistically significant at 5%, clearly indicating that the existence of technical efficiency and deviations from frontier and not entirely due to noise. Inefficiency contributes to average almost 60% of the value of lambda over this period. Lambda is the estimation of the term uh, the model B seeks to capture the efficiency of property banks and commercial banks and uh, commercial banks in our balance sheet activities. And the explanatory variables considered are the expenditure. Both these explanatory variables are positive and statistically significant at 1% level. A comparison of the lambda statistics for model A and B indicates that property banks display inefficiency in both core banking activity as well as in their expanded non core of balance sheet activity. Inefficiency is much higher, 170 percent in non-core operations. Mm, mean efficiency of model E is higher and that of model B, implying implying <coughs> the, uh, thereby that commercial banks are generally more efficient in traditional core banking as compared to yeah. But please sum up your repeating as your your time is up. Okay, uh, so uh, let me go to the conclusion. So their interpretation of data development analysis, a two stage uh, input is used like in computed for eleven banks, nine cooperative banks, and two commercial banks. As per the usual practice, this paper does not take the bank. Uh, it can be observed that two cooperative banks have efficiency score below uh, 0 0.9 and four banks have efficiency score of more than 0 0.9. The uh, super efficiency score reveals that uh, the case of model A uh, of the efficiency score of one actually ranges between 1 to 1.09. Uh, from this, Assam Cooperative Bank is the only bank that features as an efficient bank for both the MC. Uh, the banks with deficiency in Model A and Model B are uh, Mangalde Nagar Samabai Bank Limited, Nalbari uh, Cooperative Urban Bank Limited, Mahabharat Cooperative Urban Limited, uh, Kanaklata Mahila Urban Bank Limited, and Nagarik Samabai Bank Limited. Uh, so the input selection so uh, measured uh, uh, the Tobit model also showed the results of uh, indicated the deposits and loan disbursed by banks to be significant in terms of efficiency model A and B. The significance of the loan variable for model B may be interpreted as customers of a bank who have obtained loan from bank. Uh, the conclusion of this paper is that the paper has examined nine cooperative banks and two commercial banks um, for 10 years. The results point to a high mean efficiency in core banking activity compared to non core of balance sheet activities. Uh, actually, commercial banks have shown uh, much better than cooperative banks. Um, uh, efficiency displayed by cooperative banks in core banking as well as of balance sheet activities during the period of the study must be interpreted with caution because in this time period events like demonetization happened that plus banks with monetary, especially the cooperative bank. Uh, duality of control is also a problem uh, for cooperative banks uh, and need for creative and sensitive changes uh, is required in, the, in this uh, globalized, globalized
చేసుకున్నాం గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ ఆల్ డియర్ టీచర్స్ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ పారుల్ బడారియా i am a phd scholar from shri shankaracharya professional university bilai chatisgarh i have represent my presentation in front of you all under the supervision of dr sanju singh assistant professor department of commerce shri shankaracharya professional university bilai chatisgarh uh, my topic is impact of e commerce and m commerce during pandemic year covid 19 e commerce or electronic commerce it is a service in which the work of buying and selling is done using the internet today e commerce has a set a different perspectives on business transactions all over the world this is a device in which we can exchange news and monies simultaneously with the help of internet due to having a good network we can easily do all the money transactions sitting at home and can also do our business from home but for all these transactions we have a good knowledge of e-commerce e-commerce is a helpful in development of business relationships better customer services and getting more customers now i'm going to introduce m commerce it is a mobile commerce it is buying and selling of goods and services through wireless handheld devices such as smartphones and tablets m commerce is a form of e commerce that enables users to access online shopping platforms without the use of a desktop computer when we uh, merged e commerce and m commerce it have uh, gained a lot of popularity since the trend has increased during pandemic time then internet and mobile devices had become very popular our global economy has been a huge revolution when these two are merged during pandemic time in uh, quarantine period people introduced themselves in new shopping habits the rapid growth of mobile devices is making it easier than ever to browse and shop online even some items become scarce in physical stores there were options for ordering online can you come to can you come to the analysis part analysis part sorry ma'am analysis part then come to the conclusion part when it works together it improves efficiency reducing distance time and cost there is a positive relationship between the number of e-commerce business and economic growth it saves time and energy it increases cross border market it benefits from economies of scale now the conclusion is that we have to walk hand in hand with e-commerce and m commerce in today's era it told us more during pandemic time when even touching each other was prohibited at that time e-commerce and m commerce made life of people very easy now thank you thank you parul yes ma'am now i would call ujwal puri goswami research scholar angel yadav university kalyan post graduation college to chhatisgarh to present his topic on an empirical investigation of value chain analysis and competitive advantages of c mart in local product make bring satisfaction ujwal
Ma'am, you are muted. Ma'am, you are muted. Please, ma'am, you mute yourself. We are not able to hear you, ma'am. Hello. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Now you are audible. Yes. Miss Nehal Rana, Research Scholar, Kalyan PG College, Dubai. Nehal. Hello, hello. Yes, there will be only five minutes time to start your presentation. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, ma'am. I'm audible. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, my screen is I will call now Mayuri Asati, Sri Shankaracharya Professional University, PhD scholar. Mayuri. Mayuri Asati. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, start your presentation. Yes, ma'am. After Mayuri, Nidhi Goenka, ma'am, please be ready with your presentation. Hello, ma'am. Uh, can I present? Yes, start your presentation. Okay, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon to all of you. My name is Neil Rana. I'm a research scholar from Himchand Yadav University, Durg. I'm here to present my research paper on the topic of performance of Employee State Insurance Corporation, ESIC, uh, with my co-author, Dr. Vimal Kumar, Assistant Professor, Sai College, Sector 6, Bilai Durg. These are the co content of my presentation. First one is the abstract, next introduction, literature review, research methodolo methodology, and last one is the conclusions. Com uh, first, uh, first one is the abstract, and in this abstract, Employee State Insurance Corporation is the statutory body which provides healthy insurance benefits to employee who are working under the private organization. This research paper is based on the performance of Employee State Insurance Corporation. This corporation is also provide medical benefits to insured employee as well as to their family. In this paper, secondary data has been collected from the website of ESIC. The study was done on Chhattisgarh. Uh, the data had been collected from 2017 to 2022. From this study, it is concluded that the performance of ESIC is good, but it 
should have to increase its performance most of the private organization are not covered under it so there is the need to focus on it uh, many employees does not get benefits not because they does not uh, know about it but there is a long process of getting benefits the total population of chatisgarh as per 2022 is 3.11 crores but the insured persons under esic is 524640 which is 1.1.686% of the total population and the number of beneficiaries is 2098560 which is 6.74% of the total population of the chatisgarh by this study there is a need to improvement of the performance of employee state insurance corporation in chatisgarh uh, next one is the introduction of esic it is an integrated self finance body run by government of india which provides various security schemes to covered employees of esic and their families this corporation is for private sector organization where the employees earn monthly wage of 21000 rupees or under it is mandatory for such organizations to be registered with esic under available scheme Uh, these are the literature review i had done literature review of uh, madan mohan datta who had uh, concluded the study on the health insurance sector in india and analysis of its performance and uh, sneha Man- uh, manoharan uh, sasidharan uh, with uh, dr tg uh, concluded on the employees awareness and utilization towards employee state insurance scheme with special reference to thresholds uh, this is my research methodolo- methodology objectives of my study is to study the performance of esic to study the schemes and benefits of esic to study the conditions of employees under esic to study the impact of the esic data has been collected on the based uh, based on the secondary and the secondary data uh, secondary in this paper data collected from the website of esic and from the other sources uh, this is the data of the number of employees covered under esic from 31st of march 2019 to 31st of march 2022 in chatisgarh in this data you can see that in 2019 uh, there there are 569440 employees covered under esic but when it is come to the 2022 the employees uh, decreased to 456680 this shows there is uh, there is a need to improvement of the performance of the esic because with the increase of the population the increase of the number of uh, employees are not there the next data is uh, showing the insured persons of uh, and empl- uh, and employees and insured women of the chatisgarh in uh, 31st of march 2022 the total number of covered employees is 454510 and the insured person is 502700 insured woman is uh, 443389 number of beneficiaries is 19 like 50476 and uh, the employees yet to be covered under the section of 212 uh, sorry 2212 6318 as per the medical benefits expenditure of 11244 crore has been done by the esic and in the in and in hospitals and dispensary total expenditure of 182 crore has been um, has been expend um, has been uh, expenditure of two, 182 crore has been um, g- uh, given to the esic corporation or uh, on the uh, on the hospitals and dispensaries uh, next uh, esic hospitals and medical colleges uh, expenditure by uh, by the corporation is uh, 5492 crore budget of then the medical education projects uh, uh, has been done for 456 crore including depreciation and the occupational disease centers or uh, said Uh, born by esic corporation which is 986 crore for the revised estimate estimates of 2020 to 2021 according to out of the total expenditure uh, the estimation of budget on rapur korba chatisgarh hospitals are as follows in 2021 total expenditure done uh, in rapur 564 lakh and in 21 to 22 to uh, raipur's total expenditure was done 1433 lakh and in korba hospitals uh, uh, in 2021 total 575 lakhs has been done and in 21 to 22 1460 lakh um, expenditure has been done on the hospitals of raipur and korba in chatisgarh 
next uh, my conclusion part is esis is very effective and if its effectiveness will be measured in many ways like the benefits for their employees the schemes and services which were provided by the esic the beneficiaries were satisfied by the esic instead of all of these man, maybe some challenges face insurance holders as many of the private organizations are not covered under the esic and from my study it will have to increase in awareness between them in chatisgarh most of the individual salary is not more than 21000 per month and they are not aware of the esic and to my study it will be very helpful for them to get benefits provided by esic so it will be very effective for them thank you yes uh, snehal there are some queries yes ma'am This is Mehul. I want to uh, ask a question: Who is responsible for the ESIC? Who is responsible? Employee or employer? In uh, ma'am employer is responsible for the esic because uh, employer uh, employer uh, um, employer contributed uh, his or uh, his or her employees wages in the esic so employer is responsible so what is the fault of employee if he uh, didn't know about the esic because of uh, your paper and your topic is different Uh, 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 Yeah, one. Yeah, Snehal, one more question is there from my yes, side. Okay, okay. Uh, topic is performance of employee ESIC. So, what were the indicators you used to judge the performance of ESIC? Indicators. Uh, the yes. indicators is like that. Uh, um, Uh, how many employees are covered under it as uh, you can see the population of chatisgarh is 3.11 crore and there are many private organization in chatisgarh so after just, just, uh, a minute. just a minute don't go for description tell me the indicators only indicators um yeah so uh, providing is... benefits providing schemes to their employees schemes Then, yes, sir, schemes. Uske alaga. And the uh, benefits, uh, schemes, and benefits to their employee, and uh, and the. Uh, yeah, yeah. So my suggestion is there. You yes, just sir. point the indicators on okay, the okay. basis of which you have just the performance of ESIC. Uh, okay. This top the indicators. And then the stated period in which to have judged the performance, and then uh, then in the next column, uh, whether the performance uh, on the basis of the data, whether the performance was over, moderate, or up to the mark, that should okay. be visible in the paper as well as if you are going for cases on the same topic. Uh, care for that, yeah, okay. that okay. I missed in your paper. Okay, sir. So, thank you. Sir. Question as well as suggestion. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Sneha. Now I would like to call Mehendi Asadi. Uh, Ma'am, my screen is. Ma'am, my screen is visible. Yes, your screen is visible. Start your presentation. You get only five minutes. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, good afternoon to all. I am Mayuri Sati, PhD scholar from Shri Shankaracharya Professional University. 
I am presenting under the guidance of Dr. Sanju Singh from Sri Shankaracharya Professional University. Today, my topic is e-banking, its present scenario and satisfaction. Electronic banking, um, e-banking is the system that provides customer various banking services by utilizing internet and telecommunication networks, also known as internet banking or online banking or virtual banking. It also provides other services like bill payment, fund transfers, e-banking, individual as well as businesses can use it. Some banks offer e-banking services for free while others charge monthly fee or annual subscription cost. It may only be suitable for some people because of absence of face-to-face -face interaction and the complexities, complexity of some technology. Types of bank, uh, e-banking, uh, online internet banking, mobile banking, ATM, debit cards, credit cards. Uses of e-banking, various, uh, various uses of e-banking are electronic fund transfer, point of sale, credit card, ATM, electronic data interchange. Its, its objectives are to attract customer, to provide liquidity, to boost economy, to provide 24 into 7 services. Its functions are uh, online payment, including currency conversion, invoice payments, including regular payment of e-bills, account information and transaction history, customizable account names, payment templates, regular payments, ordering blocking, unblocking and closing of payment cards, SMS bank activation control settings, loan applications, saving accounts and term deposit online orders and notices to bank. Its advent advantages are convenience, faster services, higher interest rate. May you kindly be on point? Yes, ma'am. Kindly give the key points. Don't explain much and come to the analysis. And role of banking in e-banking in present scenario are banking sector is an essential part of every country's financial system. It affects the country's economy by providing credit infrastructure investment. Banking sector plays a vital role in growth and expansion of any country. Customer can perform financial transactions on a secure website operated by bank. Online banking offers features such as bank statement, fund transfer, Evil payments and account aggregation allow customer to monitor all the accounts in one place. When customer adoption, adoption of e-banking, uh, factors influencing adoption of e-banking by customer are usefulness, convenience, security, design, trust, quality, and value. In order to encourage more customer to adopt e-banking, promote uh, they are promoting services on multiple channels, provide easy to follow instruction. Uh, Ensure security. Customer satisfaction of e-banking are uh, they are customer satisfaction is important because because it illustrates whether your customer base likes what you are doing. Research shows that high satisfaction leads to greater customer retention, higher lifetime value, and stronger brand reputation. Low customer satisfaction scores are important too. Service quality in e-banking leads to uh, satisfied customers. Thus, banks can gain competitive advantage by offer better quality services to the customer in today's MLS world. Challenges in adoption and accept acceptance of e-banking customers are shifting banking habits, security, technical issues. And ma'am, uh, conclusion is at last, in the light of all information, it can be concluded that e-banking offers a safe and convenient way to manage your financial transactions, save money on bank fees. It has many benefits and excellent alternative to traditional banking. With all this, I strongly believe that more effective strategies can be brought up. Thank you. Yes, I would like to invite Dr. Nidhi Koeka. Hello? 
uh, ma'am i need uh, some time to connect my system actually it is not connecting uh, can i get a reference after one or two okay okay ma'am thank you ma'am okay okay ma'am next dr m madhuri devi assistant professor like in your vidyalaya work she will be speaking on management of strategic management dr m madhuri devi madhuri ma'am also not connected next monish kumar nirmalkar research scholar kalyan pg college bilai monish kumar nirmalkar Actually, the humanities. Then we have given them the humanities link. So the commerce participants are not visible there. Next, Miss Vaishali Agarwal, Research Scholar, Department of Commerce and Management, from the City of University. Next, Lavi Chandrakar, research scholar, UIT PG Autonomous College, Delhi. Dr. Jayashree Datta, associate professor, SP Pratik Nikhil Institute of Business Management, Patanjali Pratik University, Vismayanagar. Sandhya Shashi, Assistant Professor, Jain College, Ranchi University, Jharkhand. Momita Ghosh, Research Scholar, Vishnu Bharati University, West Bengal. Ma'am, अभी की lunch break है. तो मैं तीन लोगों को कॉल करके कनेक्ट करूंगी सो स्टार्ट फॉर द ऑफलाइन प्रेजेंटेशन चल मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द टेक्निकल सेशन 2 आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल फॉर द ऑफलाइन प्रेजेंटेशन Bhupendra Kumar Sahu, Research Scholar, Kalyan PG College, Sector Seven, Delhi. His topic is Chhattisgarh Rajya Me Sarvajanik Vitran Pranali Par Online Vivastha Ka Prabha.
Good afternoon to all. Uh, my name is Bhupendra Kumar Sahu. I am a research scholar uh, from Kalyan PG College, Delhi. My research uh, guide is uh, Dr. Anju Kumari and co uh, research scholar, co research co guide, uh, Dr. Ravish Kumar Sahni. मेरा आज टॉपिक है छत्तीसगढ़ राज्य में सार्वजनिक वितरण प्रणाली की ऑनलाइन व्यवस्था का जो प्रभाव है पर है जैसे कि आप सभी जानते हैं सार्वजनिक वितरण प्रणाली खाद्यान्न सुरक्षा प्रदान करने वाली शासन की एक महत्वपूर्ण योजना है और खाद्यान्न की जो तो समस्या है वो आज नहीं बहुत हमारे देश आजाद होने से पहले मुगल शासन काल के समय से और अंग्रेजों के शासन काल में और देश और देश के आजाद होने के बाद भी लगभग 1960 के आसपास इसका विधिवत शुरुआत किया गया है इस पर इसका जो वार्षिक प्रतिवेदन उसके अनुसार वर्तमान में जो छत्तीसगढ़ राज्य में 2007 से इसमें जो सिस्टम है खाद्यान्न सुरक्षा प्रदान करने वाली उसमें 2007 से इसमें जो क्या जो अनाज का रिसाव जैसी समस्याएं हैं कि एक जगह से जो उनके मैदानी स्तर पर जो छुटकाइयों को लाभ मिलना चाहिए उसका लाभ नहीं मिल पाता था इस समस्या के निदान के लिए 2007 से इस व्यवस्था को ऑनलाइन कर, कर दिया गया 2007 से 2012 2012 से लेकर 2013 हजार तेरह से अठारह तक दूसरा चरण और तीसरा चरण 19 से 22 तक इस तरह तीन चरणों में मैंने इस टॉपिक को जो ऑनलाइन व्यवस्था है उसको चरणबद्ध समझाने का प्रयास किया है इसमें और दूसरा है कि अभी जो वर्तमान में आधार सक्षम सार्वजनिक वितरण प्रणाली जो संचालित हो रही है आधार इनेबल्ड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम उस पर मैंने आ, रिसर्च किया है और इसमें सबसे शुरुआत हुई रिसर्च की प्रमुख बिंदु जैसे इसमें सारांश है सारांश में मैंने पाया कि जैसे ही इसका ऑनलाइन किया गया इस सिस्टम को तो इसमें जो पारदर्शिता आने लगी और जो इसमें रिसाव है उसमें कमी होने लगी इस व्यवस्था को जो है आम जन तक एक ऑनलाइन मोड में शुरुआत की गई दो हजार सात में इसके फलस्वरूप इसमें जो हितग्राही है वो इसका समुचित लाभ ले रहे हैं वर्तमान में इसके लिए मैंने सेकेंडरी डाटा को शिफ्ट किया है और इसका इसमें मेरा जो रिसर्च अध्ययन को शीर्ष है सार्वजनिक वितरण प्रणाली की ऑनलाइन व्यवस्था एवं सुधारों का चरण का अध्ययन करना और सेकंड है आधार सक्षम सार्वजनिक वितरण प्रणाली के प्रभाव एवं चुनौतियों का अध्ययन तो प्रारंभिक चरण में दो हजार सात से बारह तक जैसे देखते हैं कि जो इसका जो व्यवस्था है वो राज्य कार्यालय राज्य कार्यालय रायपुर और उसके बाद जो जिला में जो कार्यालय है उसके बाद विकास स्तर तक की सीमित था ऑनलाइन व्यवस्था जो है उसके बाद इसके सेकंड चरण जाएंगे इस फर्स्ट चरण में हम देखते हैं कि हमारा जो पी व्यवस्था है वो खासा सराहनी रहा देश में और प्रधान जैसे नीलेट अवार्ड ई इंडिया अवार्ड ई एस आई नीलेट अवार्ड ई गवर्नेंस अवार्ड अनेक अवार्ड प्राप्त हुए हैं दूसरे चरण में इस व्यवस्था को जो विकास विकास खंड तक है ब्लॉक स्तर स्तर तक था पहले तो राज्य था राज्य से गया जिला में जिला से ब्लॉक में लेकिन सेकंड चरण में इसको जोड़ा गया उचित मूल्य दुकान तक और हितग्राही तक वो कैसे वहां पर एक नया कॉन्सेप्ट आया फोर्थ पीडीएस का फोर्थ पीडीएस में एक स्मार्ट कार्ड होता था उस समय तो फोर्थ पीडीएस के माध्यम से दुकानों को उचित जो हितग्राही है उनको जोड़ा गया और एक तरह से इसमें 2017 में पारदर्शिता एक नियम पारदर्शिता एवं जवाबदाही के नियम दो हजार लागू किया गया इसके तहत इसमें जो गाँव है या उसमें हाट बाजार होता है वहां पर चावल उत्सव का आयोजन और प्रत्येक वर्ष की जो पंद्रह अगस्त की छब्बीस जनवरी है उस समय पर सामाजिक अंकेक्षण कार्यक्रम रखे जाने का उसमें प्रावधान किया गया 
ये जन भागीदारी वेबसाइट को उस समय लॉन्च किया गया जिसमें जो जो आम जन है जो हितग्राही है वो तो भी अपनी आवश्यकता के अनुसार जो जानकारी चाहते हैं वहां से वो इस जन भागीदारी वेबसाइट से जानकारी ले सकते हैं उनको प्रदान की गई और साथ ही उसमें खाद्य विभाग से नंबर इसमें अभी वर्तमान में जो है आधार सक्षम सार्वजनिक वितरण प्रणाली है इसका जो प्रभाव है ये अभी वर्तमान में ये चल रहा है की वन नेशन वन राशन कार्ड ये पूरी सिस्टम जो है अब जो लेन देन हो रही है वो आधार कार्ड के माध्यम से भी हितग्राही दुकान जाते हैं उसमें अंगूठा लगाते हैं अंगूठा के माध्यम से उसको जो आवंटित राशन रहता है वो उनके अकाउंट से लेस हो जाता है तो इसका जो ये अभी एक साल ही हुआ है इसको छत्तीसगढ़ में वैसे तो हमारे देश में दो हजार उन्नीस के लागू तो एक साल का जो इसका ट्रांजेक्शन है